And you have to bear in mind, brothers and sisters, that when the Creator says something, it is for your own benefit, not for His benefit. He is not in need of us, but we are in need of Him. It is for your own benefit. When He tells you that look, don't look to any woman, actually, that is for my own benefit. Many of you are married. If you are looking around any woman in the street, you, you look at her, you will be suffering, man. You will be suffering. There are many beautiful women around. And you cannot marry all the women of the world. So you are going to suffer at home. Okay? And you are going to have marital problem with your wife. Because now you are comparing her to all those beautiful women you have seen. But the Creator, He saved you from this suffering by telling you, lower your gaze, don't look. That is a protection for you and for me. Allah is saying, وَقُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَغُضُّ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِمْ وَيَحْفَظُوا فُرُوجَهُمْ وَقُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَغُضُّ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِمْ وَيَحْفَظُوا فُرُوجَهُمْ And tell the believing men to lower their gaze and protect their private parts. وَقُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَغْضُضْنَ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِمْ وَيَحْفَظْنَ فُرُوجَهُمْ And tell the believing women to lower their gaze and protect their private part. Imagine a Muslim, when he sees a woman, he... He lowers his head. And the Muslima, when she sees a man, she lowers her head. What a beautiful community and society we are going to have. Pure society. No evil. The man lowers his head and the woman does the same thing. So the woman is protected and the man is protected as well. Because the one who created us, he knows our weakness. But if we decide not to follow what he says, then we have to bear the consequences. And he is severe in punishment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you disobey him, then you land in the hellfire.